everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today, I am doing the biggest PSA reveal I have ever done. In front of you is 179 different cards, and all of these were submitted by Patreons of my Patreon group. If you're not already aware, I will submit cards for Patreons at no additional charge beyond what the PSA grading fee is. Here's what that means. That means you don't need to pay for the PSA membership. You don't need to pay for shipping to and from PSA. You don't need to handle the paperwork. I will do all of it for you. And all you got to do is be a Patreon. If you are interested in the Patreon group, there is a link in the video description below. And you can see all of the benefits. That's how you get into my breaks. That's how you get monthly break credits. That's how you get... Discord community access. That's how you get so much more. There's a lot that you can get, a bunch of different tiers you can buy in at. You can get in as little as $2 a month. But we do have a lot of PSA cards in front of us. So we are going to go pretty quick through these. So this video isn't eight hours long. And so let's get started. Our first, we'll start over here, is going to be by Neo. So Neo's cards are going to be first. And Neo started, we'll start it all off with the Kyle Manzardo. This is a 2021 Bowman First autograph. It is the Chrome Draft Picks autograph. And the Kyle Manzardo comes in at a mint nine. So we start off with the nine. Now we're not going to stack the nines and tens because I want to keep these in order for shipping. Our next one for Neo. Going to be a Spencer Strider. This is a short print. This is Spencer. Yeah, obviously, he's a pitcher. He's batting in this one. So this is the 2022 Tops Spencer Strider SP. The Strider comes in at a mint nine as well. So Neo off starting with two mint nines. The next one, cool card right here. I like this one. A 2022 Averson Ortega. This is a first Bowman autograph as well. And this one comes in at a gem mint 10. So we get the gem mint 10 coming in on the Artega. So there's our first gem mint 10. We're actually going to keep these stacked right in front because we don't got a lot of room. Our next one, a sweet one, 2021 Ken Griffey Jr. Tops Update SSP. So not an SP, but an SSP. The Ken Griffey Jr. comes in at a gem Mint 10. Beautiful Griffey right there. Love that. Neo, congrats on that one. Our next one. Going to be a Colton Kowser for Neo. This is a 2021 Bowman Chrome. This is the green numbered 14 out of 99. The green refractor coming in at a Mint 9. So we get the Mint 9 on the Kowser for Neo. And Neo's got more. Our next one, a Benny Montgomery auto from 2021. This is from Bowman Chrome at Bowman Draft, actually. So Benny Montgomery Bowman Draft base auto. This one comes in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine there. So we're at, I believe that's four nines and two tens for Neo. Now we have my good friend, good luck Chuck. A great Patreon of mine, Angels fan. He submitted a few Angels cards. So let's see what we can get for Good Luck Chuck. Good Luck Chuck. Here we go. We have first a 2020 First Bowman Reed Detmers sleeper right now for someone that is going to make, I believe, good strides in 2023. But this is his first Bowman Reed Detmers Chrome Base Auto. Good Luck Chuck coming in at a mint Nine, so we get the mint nine on the Detmers. Our next one, love this card coming up. The Sam Bachman, another pitching prospect for the Angels. Angels have been heavy on pitching prospects for the last few years for obvious reasons. This is a Sam Bachman auto, number 24 out of 25, the orange refractor from 2021 Bowman Draft. And the Sam Bachman comes in at a mint nine maybe just a little bit right heavy there not quite sure why it comes in at a mint nine but being numbered out of 25 still a good grade for that card all right now we have another 
pitching prospect who's been pitching well, pitched actually under the radar really well for the Angels last year. Patrick Sandoval, 2019 Bowman. This is the Chrome Prospects Auto. So a Patrick Sandoval Auto, first Bowman, comes in at a mint nine. So we're on a mint nine auto run. Now we have another one for Chuck. Chuck has another Patrick Sandoval. This is the 1985 Tops design from 2020 Tops. This is Patrick Sandoval's rookie card. So we saw his first Bowman. Now we get his rookie in the 85 design. And this one is going to come in at a mint nine as well. So having trouble getting a 10 for Chuck, but we are getting nines on the autos. Chuck also submitted another orange. This is a Drew Rasmussen rookie card from 2021 Tops Chrome. This one will be numbered 17 out of 25. Drew Rasmussen obviously broke out in 2022. A lot of people thinking he'll do good in 2023. This is his rookie from 2021. Drew Rasmussen at a mint nine as well. So no gems for good luck, Chuck. A little bit of a bummer, but no eights either. And so our next Patreon who submitted cards, and remember, all of these cards were submitted at no additional cost to the patrons. I believe these were all either at the 18 or 15. I forget exactly what it was, but these were all when they were running a few of the specials. So our next one, these are all for longtime Patreon Viking Horde. Viking, here we go. We start out with the 2019 Hoops. Ja Morant rookie card. This is the silver laser. Ja Morant been a little injured this season, but still having a pretty good season. So Ja Morant, let's see what he comes in at with the Hoops premium stock 2019. The Ja Morant comes in at a mint nine. Now, not sure why this comes in at a nine. Tough card on surface to look at, but we... Our next card, we're going to move over to football here real quick. A fun one right here. How about a 2018 Panini Day a Panini Day kickoff, Lamar Jackson. And this is a Future Frames. And this is a Relic Rookie, 13 out of 25. Not an autograph, but it is a Relic Rookie, 13 out of 25, Lamar Jackson. The Lamar Jackson future frames comes in at a near mint eight. Now these cards obviously tough to gem up because you've got the die cut. This card is really thick. You can see they put it in the thick frame. So a really thick card right there. A little bum that it comes in at the eight. I thought it maybe would get a nine, but the Lamar Jackson is still a sweet one. Rookie card number 225. So let's see if we can get Viking on a little bit of a Gem Mint 10 wagon here. Our next one, a 2017 Panini Patrick Mahomes. This is a rookie card. This one, it's just straight up Panini football from 2017. Card number 104, Patrick Mahomes rookie card. This one comes in. There we go at a Gem Mint 10 Mahomes. At a Gem Men 10. Beautiful one right there. Congrats on that one, Viking. Our next one. Going to be a big time autograph. We've got a 2020 Bowman. First Bowman Chrome. Anthony Volpe autograph. Volpe, a huge prospect right now in the hobby. Let's see what the Volpe comes in at. It's coming in at a Gem Mint 10 as well. So a beautiful gem right there for the Volpe. Congrats on that one, Viking. Then we have a super cool card right here. Okay, this is a Randy Moss. Now, it is from 2020 Panini Legacy. It is the Under the Lights, but check this out. It is a one of one Randy Moss Under the Lights. Now, Viking and I looked at this card before we sent it in. I did not expect it to gem because it is a little off-centered. But a one-of-one one Randy Moss, 
you got to send this one in, right? So the under the lights, platinum one of one comes in at a near mint eight. So not quite sure why it gets an eight. It is off centered, which off centered plus any other imperfection is going to give it an eight, but as a one of one, not a problem. Beautiful Randy Moss right here. Love that Randy Moss. Congrats on that one, Viking. Then we have our next card, which is a classic. The Luis Robert 2018 Bowman Chrome Base. First Bowman, Luis Robert. The Luis Robert comes in at a mint nine. So a mint nine, they will grade this card tough because there are thousands of them graded and they have seen plenty of them. So a mint nine on the Luis Robert. Our next one. One you don't see every day. How about a summer camp? This is from 2020 Tops now. This is the Road to Opening Day Summer Camp. Vladimir Guerrero, number two out of 10. Red parallel here. Tough one probably to grade up, but two out of 10, Vladdy. Great, great it all day. The Road to Opening Day Red Parallel coming in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine there. Our next one for Viking, going to be a big one. Ronald Acuna Jr., Topps Chrome, rookie card. This is the base rookie, 2018 from Topps Chrome. The Ronald Acuna Jr. gets a gem mint 10. So we'll take a gem mint 10 on the Acuna. Beautiful one right there. Love that. And now we go to our next Patreon, John W., who submitted a few cards as well. So John W., you're up, and here we go. We start with a Kenny Pickett. This is a 2022 Leaf Metal Draft Portrait Zebra Prism. Kenny Pickett Autograph. This is numbered one out of five. So the Kenny Pickett, one out of five. Let's see what we get here on the 2022 Leaf Metal Draft. The Kenny Pickett comes in at a mint Nine. So we get a mint nine on the Kenny Pickett for John W. And for our next card, we have a Desmond Ryder. This is going to be 2022 Leaf Draft. This is the Pink Wave Autograph Parallel, Armed and Dangerous Leaf Metal Draft from 2022. This one's going to be numbered, I believe. Yeah, this one's numbered five out of 15. So five out of 15 on the Desmond Ryder. This one going to come in at a mint nine as well. So John with two mint nines to kick off his submission. The next one, another fun one, CJ Stroud from 2021 Bowman University, the Chrome Prospects. This is the SSP. So the SSP from Bowman U from 2021 of CJ Stroud coming in at a gem mint 10. Nice gem mint right there. Congrats on that one, John W., on the SSP. That's a tough one to gem and a rare one to gem, so congrats on that. We have another C.J. Stroud, this one also from Bowman U. This is the Fuchsia Mini Diamond Refractor. This one going to come in at a mint 9. So we get the mint 9 there on the C.J. Stroud. By the way, that one was numbered 9 out of 150. All right, our next one for John. He's got a Trevor Lawrence, and this is going to be a Green Velocity Panini Don Russ Optic Rated Rookie from 2021. Trevor Lawrence. I don't, is it numbered? I don't think. No, this one is not numbered. It is the Green Velocity. Not, num, not numbered. Okay, officially not numbered. But the Trevor Lawrence going to come in. At a mint nine as well. So a beautiful looking Trevor Lawrence, kind of a jersey match right there. Cool looking card comes in at a mint nine. Our next one. Going to be a Brees Hall going back to football. 2022 draft bound Brees Hall. This one numbered 10 out of 15 from Leaf Metal Draft. It's the Black Prism Parallel. It comes in at a mint nine nine as well so john with a few mint nines a couple tens and let's see our last one for john 
going to be a Malik Willis armed and dangerous. This is the Tiger Prism Parallel. And this one going to come in from Leaf Metal Draft. It's the Tiger Prismatic. Comes in at an EX6. That, I would have to take a much closer look at why this comes in at a six. That makes zero sense to me. I see nothing on this card that makes it a six. Absolutely nothing. Strange that this gets a six. John, not quite sure why this gets a six. It is centered. The only thing I might see is... There might be some creasing on the back right here. I can't tell if that's on the card or not. But the Malik Willis comes in at a six. So a little bit of a disappointment there for John to end it. But we got to move on. We got a ton of cards. All right, our next one. These are all going to be for Big Tech. Big Tech. Here we go. He submitted a lot of football. Matt Judon. But he also submitted some cool... I guess we would call them vintage. This one going to be a 1990 Bowman. We're going to some hockey, some Steve Yeezerman. Bowman, Steve Yeezerman from 1990 comes in at a near mint eight. Cool card right there. I, my brother growing up collected a lot of hockey cards. I remember him collecting Yeezerman. So that's a cool one to see graded. The next one going to be a big one. Troy Aikman. This is a 1989 Tops Traded. Troy Aikman. Big card right here. Comes in. Boom! At a mint nine. Great grade on the 89 Tops Traded. Troy Aikman. Just a little off-centered, but everything else real nice on that card. That's a big card right there. Congrats on that one, Big Tech. And then we have even a little bit of a bigger one. A Joe Montana. I believe this is like... A second or third year card. 1981 tops. Joe Montana. In fact, let's see. Yeah, the 49ers. He played a few games in 1980. So this one, the Joe Montana 1981 tops comes in at a near mint seven. So we get the seven on the Joe Montana. Beautiful card right there. Totally vintage right there. 1981 Joe Montana. Love that we got some vintage in on here for Big Tech. Our next one going to be a 1985 Pete Rose from Tops. This one comes in at an EXMT6. So we get a six on the Pete Rose. Fair enough that some of the some of the corners a little soft. A six probably the right grade there for that one. Then we get. The Johnny Bench. This is going to be a 1983 Tops Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench going to come in at a near mint eight. Nice higher grade for a Johnny Bench 1983 Tops. Maybe just a couple soft corners, a little off center, but a beautiful Johnny Bench right there. We'll take that one. Then we have an iconic card. How about the Barry Bonds? This is going to be a Tops traded 1986. Barry Bonds, obviously a little off-centered top to bottom, but nice left to right. So we'll see what it gets. The Barry Bonds going to be an EX6. So the Bonds comes in at a 6. Our next card going to be a 1982 Tops Orioles Future Stars. This one going to have Bob Bonner, Cal Ripken, and Jeff Schneider on it. Obviously, Cal Ripken, who you're looking for with the future stars. Let's see what the Cal Ripken comes in. 1982 tops, a near mint eight on the Cal Ripken 1982 future stars. Congrats on that one, Big Tech. All right, our next one, the Ken Griffey Jr. Iconic card right here, 1989 tops traded. Ken Griffey Jr. This one comes in, obviously rookie card right here, at an EX6. Again, another one, not sure where this comes in at a 6. Corners look good. It's got to be something on the surface, but when you look at the card, 
Nothing shows on the surface. I don't think this was a fair grade at all on the Ken Griffey Jr. That card is centered. I mean, there's got to be something. But I don't see it. It comes in at a six. Centered on, I mean, not, well, not perfectly centered on the back. A little bit of scuffing on the corner right here and maybe along the top. But nothing that should take that down to a six. That almost feels like one you would crack and regrade. Because I don't see anything on there surface-wise that deems it to be lower. I mean, that is a beautiful copy of Ken Griffey. For it to only get a six, there's got to be something somewhere. But I don't see anything. That's a strange one. That grade right there, I don't agree with. And I mean, I've now done enough grading that you say that card deserved more than a six. Thanks for that, PSA. All right, but we move on. Big Tech, here we go. Let's get you on the 90 hoops, Michael Jordan. Let's get you a better grade on that one. Here we go. Michael Jordan, 90 hoops, near mint seven. A little bit off-centered, kind of a tough grade. It is off-centered top to bottom and left to right a little bit, a little bit. Let's do another Jordan. The 1990 Fleer. Michael Jordan. This one comes in at a mint nine. There we go. A much better grade. The Jordan mint nine doing one of his signature Jordan dunks. Love that one. So we get the mint nine there. And then we get the Melendez brothers cards, the Mark Jackson, the Melendez brothers. If you don't know who they are, if you're young, Google that. That's a horrid story. But the Melendez brothers are sitting in the back court side at a Knicks game. Mark Jackson is the subject of the card. This is from 90 Hoops. Mark Jackson comes in at a near mint seven. So we get the seven on the Mark Jackson. So those are his vintage, but he also graded, graded a lot of cards. So here we go. His next one going to be from 2021 Bowman. So we go to some newer stuff. 2021 Bowman Chrome. This is the Emmanuel Rodriguez Green Refractor number 39 out of 99. This is, again, 21 Bowman Chrome. Comes in at a mint 9. So we get a mint 9 on the Emmanuel Rodriguez. Then we've got, you better be a Matt Judon fan. And you better be a fan of rainbows. Because we got a few Matt Judons here. So this one, going to be the 2020 Panini Mosaic. Genesis, Matt Judon. Matt Judon, Genesis, comes in at a mint nine for Big Tech. So Big Tech is trying to complete the rainbow for Matt Judon from 2020 Mosaic. We've got the Panini Prism, Matt Judon Sensational Signatures Pink. So Matt Judon Panini Prism, this is not Mosaic, but Prism, Comes in at a mint nine as well. So the pink prism comes in at a, at a mint nine for the auto. I think he's got another auto from prism right here. And this one is going to be the neon green Matt Judon. I don't know. I don't think that. Yeah, this one not numbered either. So the neon green, the neon green going to come in at a mint nine as well. So two mint nines on the signature. Then we have. The Matt Judon. This one going to be the Peacock Choice. Literally Peacock Feathers on the card of Matt Judon from 2020 Mosaic. Like I said, Big Tech trying to complete the rainbow. Great it. This one comes in at a Gem Mint 10. So we get a nice Gem Mint 10 there for Big Tech. And we've got more Matt Judon showing up. The next Matt Judon going to be the Pink Fluorescent. From, po from Panini Mosaic. This one, a mint nine. Beautiful looking card right there. Love the pink, pink fluorescent. By the way, the pink fluorescent, I didn't even mention it. Numbered three out of 10. All right, now this next one is going to be numbered 59 out of 75. This will be the No Huddle Blue Donut from 2020 Panini Mosaic of Matt Judon comes in at a near mint eight. Another card. We got a tough grader this time. A lot of nines that maybe are tens comes in at a near mint eight. There's a little bit of maybe some 
separation. Maybe a, that's a little weird, but nice looking card there. Not quite sure why that gets an eight. Tough grader. All right, but here we go. We'll try one again. This one going to be numbered one out of 17. This one going to be the gold mosaic Matt Judon. This one comes in at a mint nine. So we get the mint nine on the gold. We'll grab some more Matt Judon. Like I said, we're trying to complete the rainbow for Big Tech. Big Tech with another Genesis right here. The Genesis comes in at a mint nine. So we get another mint nine on that Judon. Our next one, I believe this is another Genesis. It is another Genesis Matt Judon. This one comes in. There we go at a gem mint 10. So we get a 10 in the Genesis I believe that's our second 10. I believe we got two of those. All right. Our next one, Matt Judon. Fun going through the rainbow. This one, number two out of 99. This is going to be the blue mosaic. And this one comes in at a mint nine. So the blue mosaic at a mint nine there. Another Matt Judon. This one, not numbered. But this will be the white sparkle. Again, from Panini Mosaic, Matt Judon, Gem Mint 10, beautiful 10 right there on the white sparkle. Take that one all day, but we're not done. We've got more Matt Judon. All right, 42 out of 75. We're going to have the No Huddle Blue again, the Blue Donut. This one will come in at a Mint 9. So we get another 9 on the Judon. And we have another Judon. This one going to be numbered 56 out of 80. When you're trying to complete the rainbow and get it PSA graded at high grades, this is the way to do it. We have the Fusion Red Choice. This one comes in at a mint nine. So we get another mint nine there. Tough grades. Tough that some of these aren't coming in as tens. But what can you do? All right, here you go. No Huddle Silver. Matt Judon comes in. There we go at a gem mint 10. So we get the 10 on that one. Nice looking 10 right there on the Judon. And our last card for Big Tech going to be a little bit of an oversized card. 1989 Bowman, another Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. This Ken Griffey Jr. comes in. At a near mint eight, this is a tough card to grade up and get gemmed, but a near mint eight, another nicely centered one, maybe some soft corners, which is to be expected from an 89 Bowman being graded in 2023. So not a bad grade on the Griffey. We'll take that and that will do it for Big Tech. Big Tech, thanks for being a Patreon. Now we go to Jeff K. Jeff submitted quite a few cards himself. So we'll start with Jeff. And keep going on this massive stack. Here we go. 2012, Bryce Harper, screaming rookie card. Bryce Harper coming in at a mint nine for Jeff K. Jeff starting off with the mint nine. Lots of nines in this submission so far. We'll see if we can get some tens. Here we go. 2014, Bowman Prospects. This is his first Bowman. This is the paper Mookie Betts. So the make Mookie Betts paper. 2014, coming in at a mint nine as well. So we get another mint nine there. Then we have the Justin Verlander 2005 Tops rookie card. This one going to come in at a near mint eight. So an eight on the Verlander. Again, another tough grade. That card looks great. I, I mean, to be fair, when I submit cards for Patreons, I do not look at them. I just submit them. I do not say what the grades are going to be. I feel like that's a tough grade. I haven't looked at the corners underneath the loop or anything, but still kind of a tough grade. Okay, so here we go. Let's try Jose Ramirez 2014 tops. This is going to be his paper rookie card base rookie. Boom! Gem in 10. Nice one right there for Jeff. Jeff, congrats on that. There's a 10. And with the way the grading's been going on this submission, I feel like that's a legit 10. Okay, now we saw this card earlier, but Jeff also submitted one. 
1982 Topps Orioles Future Stars. This is the Ripken. We saw one of these earlier. Let's see what this one comes in for Jeff. Jeff comes in at a Nearman 8. I think they both ended up with 8s. So we get an 8 right there. Nice Ripken in an 8, 1982. Then we have another Jose Ramirez. This one going to be 2014, another paper. That one comes in at a Mint 9. So we get a 10 and a 9 on the Ramirez's. Then we have a Juan Soto. 2018 Topps Heritage Juan Soto Rookie. This is the base. Comes in at a Gem Mint 10. Always nice to see a Soto 10. It's one of my... Heritage has some nice photos on their set. And I like that Soto right there. So a nice one there. Now we have the iconic 1993 Topps Derek Jeter rookie card. This one coming in at a Near Mint 8. Nice 8 on the Jeter. Maybe a little bit top heavy, so a little bit off center, but a nice Jeter right there. Congrats on that one, Jeff. Then we have a Luis Robert 2021 Tops Heritage. This is the Chrome Hot Box Refractor, so the purple parallel rookie card coming in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine on the Luis Robert Heritage. Purple parallel. Then we have. 2019, 1984, Topps Design, Vlad Guerrero, rookie card. This is from Topps Update. Comes in at a Gem Mint 10. So a 10, Vladdy, we'll take that one. So the 10's starting to show up a little bit more. We'll take that. All right, now we go to a 2018. This is Bowman Draft, Shane McClanahan. This is an auto, first Bowman auto, Shane McClanahan. Comes in. At a mint nine, so a mint nine on the McClanahan. A lot of people starting to pick up on McClanahan's a pretty good pitcher, so people starting to grade him. We get a mint nine on the auto for Jeff. Now we go to a Jose Altuve rookie card from 2011 Tops Update. On the Altuve, we get another mint nine, so a mint nine on the Altuve. Our next card going to be Beautiful one. Fernando Tatis, rookie card, sepia refractor from 2019 Tops Chrome. Sepia refractor coming in at a mint nine as well. So a nine on the Tatis. Then we have the Jordan Alvarez, Tops Chrome. This is the pink refractor rookie card. Jordan Alvarez, gem, mint. 10 Alvarez rookie. Love that card. One of my favorite cards from the last couple years. Still doesn't get enough hobby love. Wait until he wins an MVP though. He's that good. So nice gem on the Jordan Alvarez. Now we have a 2021 Topps Chrome Jazz Chisholm. This is a rookie card short print image variation. This one comes in at a mint 9 on the Jazz Chisholm rookie short print. So Jeff kind of mixing in some 10s, mixing in some 9s. These next two he has are going to be 2018 Topps Update, Ronald Acuna. This is the at-bat in blue jersey, the bat up. That one comes in at a mint 9. So we get a 9 on his first one. The second one for Jeff will be a mint nine as well. So we get two nines on the bat up Acunas. And then our next one going to be a Topps Heritage Shohei Otani rookie card. It's going to be the base. Gets a gem mint 10. Nice gem mint Shohei rookie right there. Congrats on that one, Jeff. He's got a few more Shoheis, but they're not all from the same set. So let's see what we can get here. This one going to be Topps Gallery. So Gallery, a retail set. Not a lot of these going to be graded. So the Shohei Otani rookie comes in at a Gem Mint 10. That's a nice one to gem up right there. Especially being that there won't be a high pop on this card. So the Shohei Otani Gallery comes in at a 10 from 2018. Then we have the Allen and Ginter 2018 rookie card Shohei. And this one comes in. At a Gem Mint 10. So Shohei's gemming up, uh, gemming up all over the place. Love that. Congrats on all of those, Jeff. 
Then we got a little more vintage. We'll mix in some some of that right here. How about a Tony Gwynn rookie, 1983 tops? 83 tops, Tony Gwynn coming in at a near mint eight. We'll take that. Nice near mint eight, Tony Gwynn. Next one, how about a Trey Turner, 2016 tops chrome rookie card, CP of Refractor. That one going to come in. Nice one right there. Trey Turner up and coming in the hobby, getting more hobby love as he makes more all-star games. That one comes in at a gem mint 10 as well. Beautiful tops chrome right there. All right, our next one going to be the another Jose Altuve. This one comes 2011 Tops Update. The Altuve, a gem mint 10 Altuve. So Altuve at a gem mint 10. Love him or hate him, still a good baseball player, even if he did wear a mic. All right, now we have another Shane McClanahan. This is a 2021 Tops Shane McClanahan orange foil rookie card numbered to 299, 114 out of 299. The Shane McClanahan orange foil going to come in at a mint nine. Foil cards tough to grade up, so you'll take a mint nine, especially in the orange foil there for the McClanahan. Our next one is Sandy Alcantara. This is a 2018 Topps Chrome Sandy Alcantara rookie autograph. Alcantara, you know, Cy Young. All day stuff. All right, so here we go. Alcantara. Oh, beautiful one right there. Auto, rookie auto, gem mint 10, Alcantara. Beautiful one. Jeff, congrats on that one. Love it. All right, our next one. Another Sandy Alcantara from 2018. This from Tops in the 1983 design. This one going to come in at a mint Nine, so we get a 10 and a 9 on the Alcantara. If you were to choose which one to gem up, you'll take that chrome all day. And then we have more for Jeff. How about a Frank Thomas Fleer 90? Fleer update. Coming in at a mint 9. Frank Thomas mint 9 from Fleer 1990. So another one vintage right there. So that's Jeff's first deck, but he's still going. He's got more in this deck. So, Jeff, let's keep rolling for you. 2018 Tops Chrome, Shohei Otani, pitching. Comes in at a gem mint 10. So Jeff gets the gem mint 10 in the Shohei Tops Chrome rookie card. He's got another Shohei. This one going to be the Tops Rainbow Foil. This is not the chrome. Straight up from tops, pitching rainbow foil parallel rookie card, mint nine. So we get the mint nine on the Shohei. Then we got another Frank Thomas. It's going to be the 1990 score Frank Thomas, first round draft pick, one of the more iconic Frank Thomas rookie cards. Comes in. And a nice one, a mint nine on that one as well. So a 90 score Frank Thomas mint nine. Then we have one of the most iconic cards in modern sports. The Bo Jackson 1990 score. Beautiful card right there. Everyone knows this card if you've collected for more than a hot flash second. The 1990 score Bo Jackson comes in at a near mint eight. So we get an eight on the bow. Our next one, back to some Mookies. We got a 2014 Tops Update Mookie Bets. Rookie card comes in at a mint nine. There's another one right behind it. We're still with Jeff, by the way. So Jeff has another one. This Mookie Bets comes in at a mint nine as well. So two mint nines on the base Mookie Bets from 2014. We got some more Trey Turner as well. Another autograph, 2016 Topps Chrome Trey Turner rookie autograph. This one going to come in at a mint nine as well. So Trey Turner, mint nine autograph rookie. Then we got some more Shohei. This one going to be a 2018 Topps Chrome freshman flash rookie card. This one comes in at a gem mint 10. So Jeff gemming on the Shohei's at a high rate. Take it. This one. Tops update Shohei. Pitching in red jersey. Rookie card. 
Gem Mint 10 on that show, hey. So a lot of Gem Mint 10 Shohei rookies showing up for Jeff. We got another one just like it. Tops update red jersey. That one gets a mint nine for Jeff. All right, our next one, a Spencer Torkelson. It's going to be the 2022 Tops Series 2 short print Spencer Torkelson. This one comes in at a gem mint 10. Nice one right there. So Jeff getting a few nice 10s in this submission. So a nice one there for the Torque. He also has the Bobby Witt. The Bobby Witt SP from 2022 Top Series 2. That one comes in at a Gem Mint 10. So a beautiful one right there. So Jeff, two nice gems right in a row. Then we have the Julio Rodriguez. Already iconic. This one, 2022 Short Print Top Series 2. Coming in at a gem mint 10. So he gets gems on all three of the short prints from series two, 2022. Congrats on that, Jeff. Jeff keeps going too. Jeff submitted quite a few cards. How about a Bowman Chrome 2016? This is going to be a Vladimir Guerrero first base chrome. And that one will come in at a mint nine. So we get the mint nine on the Vladdy. Then we go to Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman, 2011 tops, base rookie. Gem Mint 10, beautiful one right there. Freddie Freeman probably headed to the Hall of Fame if he hasn't punched that ticket already. Let's see if we can double up on him because here's another one he submitted. So this Freddie Freeman coming in at a near mint 8. So we get a 10 and an 8. Not quite sure why that one gets a 10 and an 8. But we get an 8 on that Freeman for Jeff. Then we've got a few more Shohei's. This one going to be 2018 Tops. This is uh, Series 2. This is Pitching. Shohei gets a Mint 9. So we get a Mint 9 on that one. Then we have a Shohei Otani Update. Rookie Debut. And the rookie debut going to come in at a gem mint 10. So we get a lot of Shohei Otani 10s for Jeff. Love it. All right. Then he's also got one you don't see every day. The 2018 Tops Fire Shohei Otani Flamethrowers rookie card. And this one going to come in at a mint 9. Tough one to grade up right there just with the foil. So a mint 9 also got a low pop on it. So that's a nice one right there for Jeff as well. Jeff also has, as his final card, submitted quite a bit of them, a big one, the Oscar Colas Bowman Chrome First from 2022, numbered 70 out of 75, the yellow parallel. The Oscar Colas going to come in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine on the Oscar Colas autograph, yellow parallel numbered to 75. Jeff, thank you very much for submitting. But now we go to someone else that submitted quite a few cards, and that is going to be Chris C. So, Chris, let's get started for you. And Chris is going to start with a 2020 Tops Update Bo Bichette Silver P Pack Black Refractor. This one will be numbered 102 out of 199, the Bo Bichette Black Mojo Refractor Rookie Card comes in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine on the Bo Bichette. Black Refractor. Our next one, an Aaron Judge. 2017 Panini Donruss Optic. Well, I already showed it, showed it to you. It's the hollow. It is a near mint eight. So this one comes in at a near mint eight. Maybe some surface issues a little bit along here. Um... Well, maybe not, but it on those hollows, sometimes tough to grade up. So we get a Nearman 8 on the Judge. We have another Judge right here. We're going to see a few of these. I believe five of them. We got the 2017 Aaron Judge flagship rookie coming in at a Gem Mint 10. So a Gem Mint 10 Aaron Judge rookie right there. We're going to see five of them. We'll see how many gems we can get. The next one going to be. Back to Bobachet. Banger of a card right here. 
2020 Bo Bichette, Gypsy Queen, red rookie card. This one numbered four out of 10. So Bo Bichette, red, four out of 10 from 2020 Tops. Gypsy Queen comes in at a gem mint 10. Chris, congrats on that one. Banger of a card. Love that card. Bo Bichette to 10. Gems up at a 10. We got another Bo Bichette. This is going to be a downtown from Panini Diamond Kings. Popular insert from Panini. Bo Bichette, also going to be a rookie year Bo Bichette. Comes in at a gem mint 10 as well. So beautiful Bo Bichette right there. Amazing card right there. Good one. All right, then we have a couple more of these Aaron Judges. So another Aaron Judge flagship. This one will come in at a Gem Mint 10 as well. So Chris gets another Gem Mint 10 there. And our final one for this stack, another Aaron Judge. This one going to come in at a Gem Mint 10. So we're at three of three on the flagship Aaron Judge rookie cards. So congrats on those, Chris. You got a few, uh, not a few. You've got quite a, quite a few more. We go to stack number four. Some more Shohei. Tops Heritage Rookie Base. This one going to come in at a Gem Mint 10 as well. So Chris on a Gem Mint 10 streak. We'll take it. All right, our next one. This is the Mike Trout 2019 Stadium Club of him taking a selfie. Beautiful picture right here with Mookie and Aaron Judge in the photo. That one comes in at a Mint 9. So the Selfie Mint 9 Trout from Stadium Club. Then we have 2018 Trout in the gray and red t-shirt. This from Topps. Stadium, uh, yeah, Series 1. So This one going to come in at a Gem Mint 10. Me as a Trout fan, I'm jealous of that card. Beautiful Trout right there. Congrats on that one, Chris. Then we go to a 2020 Bowman Chrome Prospects. This is a yellow refractor. Bobby Witt Jr. numbered 74 out of 75. Bobby Witt Jr. first Bowman. Yellow refractor comes in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine on the Bobby Witt. We go back to Shohei. So Shohei, this is going to be a 2018 Bowman Shohei rookie paper. Comes in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine there. I think we got one more of those coming up. So we'll see what we get on that one. We have a Zach Veen yellow refractor. 30 out of 75 from 2021 Bowman. Zach Veen, this is not a first, but Zach Veen auto to 75. Going to be a mint nine as well. So, Chris, let's see what we can get for you on the next one. This one going to be a 2020 Onyx Spencer Torkelson blue, blue on card auto. Spencer Torkelson going to be a mint nine. So, we get a mint nine on the 2020 Onyx Torque. Then we have a thicker one right here. This one's going to be a beautiful on-card auto. I believe this is 2019 582. Yeah, Brooklyn Brooklyn Collection, which was a 582 exclusive. Miguel Cabrera autograph. Thicker card here. Gems up. It's huge. But it will get a mint nine. But because of the thickness of the card, a mint nine, not a bad grade there at all on the Miggy auto. Now we have another Miggy auto here. This is from Topps Tier 1. Certified. It's numbered 50 out of 100. This also from 2021. Tops Tier 1. Miggy autograph. A near mint 8. Again, another thick card. This one has a lot of different gold foil on it. Nice looking autograph there, but definitely tough one to gem up. So we get an 8 on that one for Chris. Then we have the Austin Wells 2020 Bowman. First Chrome autograph, 27 out of 75, Austin Wells. The Black Refractor, numbered to 75, gets a Mint 9. So another autograph there getting a Mint 9. I'm telling you, our grader seems to be fair, but a little, a little strict. All right, here we have a Ronald Acuna Jr., Diamond Kings, 
from Panini Prism. It's going to be 2020 Ronald Acuna Jr. Number to 25, a black parallel Diamond Kings. Gems up, gets a gem mint 10. So a nice 9 out of 25 Acuna Jr. Black gem mint 10. And now we have some Julio Rodriguez. This one numbered 5 out of 50. Now check this card out. This is a Freshman Flash 2019 Julio Rodriguez. And I don't know the parallel on this one, but let's see what it gets. Autograph, Julio Rodriguez 2019 Flash. It's the blue. It gems up, gets a gem, mint, 10. Julio Rodriguez Leaf Flash Autograph. Number 250. All right, we have another one. This one. 2019 News Flash autographs. This one gets a Gem Mint 10 as well. So two Julio Rodriguez Gem Mint 10s. We'll take that right there. And we keep going. Another one. Another base, Julio Rodriguez, 2019. This one gets a Mint 9. So not bad. Two out of three on the Julios for the Leaf Flash 2019. All right, we continue for Chris. We have an Adley Rutschman here. Another one from Leaf Freshman Flash, numbered 44 out of 50. This one going to be the blue parallel as well. From 2019, Adley Rutschman, Gem Mint 10 as well. Adley about to get hot in the hobby. As soon as 2023 tops comes out, everyone's going to be chasing those Adleys. Now here's one you don't see every day. The 2018 Tops Big League Shohei Otani, another rookie card right here. The Shohei Otani Big League gets a gem in 10. Going to have a low pop on that one compared to most Shohei Otani rookie cards. So nice to see a gem there. Then you have the Shohei Otani. This is going to be the 2018 Panini Diamond Kings, the red frame parallel. So jersey color match parallel. This is a kind of a short print, kind of a parallel that you get from panini diamond kings from 2018 that one comes in as, as a gem mint as well that's a tough card to gem up because of the frame congrats on that one that's actually a nice one chris um you're not going to see that card gem up too much all right our next one 2018 tops archives shohei otani pitching stance a gem mint 10 so tons of shohei gem mints in this submission we got another Shohei here. This, the error card from 2019 Tops Update, Shohei Otani 1984 Tops Baseball. Why isn't it an error? Well, in 2019, he wasn't a rookie, but he has his rookie card, the, the RC logo right there. So it's an error card. The 2019 Tops Update comes in at a mint nine for Chris C. Now we go back to some Aaron Judge. The Aaron Judge. He's three for three on the Aaron Judge flagship base rookies. This one comes in at a mint nine. So he's three for four, but we get a nine on that one. Our next one is going to be a cool one right here. The Aaron Judge 2018 tops uh, league leaders. This will be the gold parallel. This one comes in at a mint nine for Chris as well. So a gold Judge to nine. Then we have another Aaron Judge. How about the 2013 Bowman Chrome Aaron Judge? This one will come in at a mint nine as well on the Bowman Chrome Aaron Judge. Boys making a lot of money these days, ain't he? All right, here we go. Top Series 1. He submitted five of them. He's three for four on the gem in tens. What'll this one get? A mint nine. So he goes three for five on the, which is, which is not bad on the Aaron judge rookie flagships. And then we go back to some more Boba Bichette. There's a cool one right here. Numbered one Oh three out of one fifty 2020 Bowman Chrome in the 1990 Bowman design. The Atomic Refractor Bo Bichette rookie card comes in at a mint nine as well. And for the last card in this stack, we have another Bo Bichette. This one, number 12 out of 50. It is the gold 2020 Tops Update Silver Pack. 
Mojo Refractor comes in at a mint nine as well. So we get a mint nine there on the Boba Shet Gold. And we hit our last deck. We're still with Chris C. Chris submitted quite a few cards. So here we go. Our next one. Fernando Tatis, base 2019 rookie. That one, gems. Gem mint 10 on the Tatis base rookie. We have more Shohei. Shohei Otani. This is going to be a 2018 Stadium Club rookie card of him pitching. Cool looking Shohei right there. And we have this one coming in at a Mint 9 as well. So we got the Mint 9 Shohei in Stadium Club 2018. Now we go back to 2019. This is the Topps Complete Set Fernando Tatis rookie card in the white jersey. This one comes in at a Gem Mint 10. So we get a 10 mint, Gem Mint 10 on the Tatis Complete Set. Going back to Shohei, we go to Topps Chrome in the 1983 Topps design. Shohei Otani rookie card. This one will come in nice at a Gem Mint 10. Nice little Chrome rookie right there in the 83 design for Shohei. Then we have a Jordan Alvarez. This is going to be a 64 out of 99 Panini Prism. This is the Red Donut Circle. Jordan Alvarez rookie card. This one comes in at a Gem Mint 10. Nice Gem Mint 10 on the Jordan. Beautiful card right there. So congrats on that one, Chris. Back to Shohei. Let's get you more gems on the Shohei. This is our other 2018 Bowman. This one coming in at a Mint 9. So a Mint 9 on that Shohei. Then we have one you won't see that often. Panini Diamond King Shohei Otani facing right. So there's a few different ones that you can get in Diamond Kings from 2018 for Shohei. We're going to have a couple of them here to show you. This first one, the facing right, gems up at a Gem Mint 10 for Chris. So we get a Gem Mint 10 on that one. The next one, as you can see here, Panini Diamond Kings pitching no pinstripes rookie card. This one going to come in at a Gem Mint 10 as well. So Shohei, maybe the star of this PSA return. Tons of rookie gems all throughout this one. Now this one, a cool one. A 2020 Tops Willie Mays Decades Best. This is the Chrome Parallel, and it is the Red Refractor. I believe it's numbered, yeah, it is numbered 6 out of 10. So a Willie Mays Red Refractor, 6 out of 10. This one coming in at a mint nine for the Willie Mays. All right, now we have a Ronald Acuna Jr. This is going to be, I believe it's the Black Stars, 29 out of 125. This will be from 2020 Don Russ Optic. Yeah, Black Stars, Ronald Acuna Jr. Kind of hard to see the Black Stars on there, but if you look close, you'll see them. They're kind of faded away all in here. This one going to come in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine on the Acuna. We got one more from Don Russ Optic. This one numbered 38 out of 150. This will be the red, white, and blue Don Russ Optic. Ronald Acuna Jr. comes in at a mint nine as well. I believe the black did gem up. So kind of the best one to gem up. All right, now we have a Jordan Alvarez gold. Top's finest numbered 30 out of 50. Beautiful Jordan Alvarez right here. 2020 finest gold refractor gem mint 10 there we go way to go chris chris still going all right here we go next one gonna be a jason tatum to basketball jason tatum rookie from 2017 panini hoops comes in at a gem mint 10 nice hoops gem mint 10 for jason tatum chris getting a, quite a few gems on this one so congrats on that one, Chris. Here we go. Let's do it again. We have a hair of mine. That's probably on screen. That's not supposed to be there. 2017 Tops Heritage. Cody Bellinger, former MVP, at a Gem Mint 10 as well. So Cody Bellinger, rookie card, Gem Mint 10. And now we have another Mike Trout. Mike Trout, Tops Finest, 2021 Blue Parallel, numbered 1 out of 150. 
The blue refractor comes in at a mint nine. So a mint nine on that one. Our next one going to be another Mike Trout. It's the Millville Meteor. Nickname from 2021 Tops Heritage. Tough card to pull. Love that this card got submitted. It deserves to be submitted. Comes in at a mint nine. Tough card to pull right there with the nickname of Trout. Love that card. Congrats on that one, Chris. Uh, then Chris has got a Mookie Betts. It's going to be the rookie debut from 2014 Tops Update. And this one will come in at a Gem Mint 10. So a rookie debut, rookie card, Gem Mint 10 for Mookie. Our next one is going to be a Jordan Alvarez Gypsy Queen, number 5 out of 150. This is going to be the black and white parallel rookie card from 2021 Tops Gypsy Queen. Comes in at a Gem Mint 10. So Jordan Alvarez also gemming up for Chris. So that is Chris's submission. Chris, thank you very much for submitting all the cards. Very much appreciated. Remember, if you're still watching this late in the video, if you want me to submit cards on your behalf at no additional charge, all you got to do is be a Patreon. You just pay the PSA fee. I handle all of the shipping. I hand to and from PSA. I handle all of the paperwork. I handle buying the PSA club membership, which is 180 bucks in and of itself. I handle all of that. All you got to do is be a Patreon. If you're interested, click the link in the video description to get to my Patreon page. And now I'm going to show you a few of the cards that I submitted. I think we have a couple more Patreons beyond this one, but now it's my turn. These are the cards I submitted in this submission. My first one is going to be a 2022 Topps Finest Flashbacks Julio Rodriguez rookie card. The Julio Rodriguez gems up at a gem mint 10. 2022 Finest Flashbacks, one of the more popular sets. So I opened up one box and got all of these in one box. So the Julio Rodriguez, this one, the Spencer Torkelson. This is the rookie card. This one comes in at a gem mint 10 as well. I'll take that. Then we have the CJ Abrams from Topps Finest 2022. That one going to come in at a gem mint 10 as well. So I will take all those finest gem mint 10s all day. Then I have... A 2022 Topps Chrome Brandon Marsh Prism Refractor Rookie Card. Brandon Marsh got traded from the Halos, but still, I graded it. That one comes in at a Gem Mint 10 as well. So I'm doing good on a Gem Rate. I did take a good look at my cards before I sent them. Um, all right, this one has a 2022 Topps Chrome. This is going to be a Logo Fractor Edition Jake Berger, Future Stars. Not a huge one here, but it is an auto from Logo Fractor, so I figured get it graded. And this one comes in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine on the Future Stars, Jake Berger. Then if you'll remember, during the National, I won a Michael Jordan, but those weren't the only cards I won. I did win two packs of 1986 Fleer basketball. So I decided I'm going to grade the Julius Irving. The 1986 Fleer Julius Irving came in at a mint nine. Beautiful one right there. Beautiful Julius Irving. That's a nice card right there. I thought that card looked pretty, pretty nice. So we get the Julius Irving in a nine. I also sent in the Patrick Ewing rookie from 1986 Fleer. Now, remember, I got all these cards for free. Now, this one I didn't think was going to jam. It's a little off-centered, but we'll see what it gets. It gets a near-mint 8. So we get an 8 on the Patrick Ewing. Um, I believe 8 is probably a good grade. It even has a little bit of a red through here. I believe they gave me a generous grade on that one. All right. Now we go to the Sheriff, Zach Freeburn. Zach, longtime Patreon of the channel. He submitted a few cards. Big time Yankees fan. So he's got an Oswaldo Cabrera 2022 Bowman prospect base auto. So the Oswaldo Cabrera comes in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine on the Cabrera. Then we have a Mike King blue wave autograph from 2020 Tops Chrome. It's a Mike King rookie card. Blue wave refractor. Comes in 
at a mint nine as well for the sheriff. So the sheriff gets a mint nine there. And then he PCs Alec Manoa. So here's an Alec Manoa. This is a 2022 Alec Manoa 1987 design. This one's going to come in autographed at a mint nine as well. So we get the mint nine John Manoa in the 87 design. Or did I just say John Alec Manoa? I was looking at this one, which is John Means. This one's going to be a 2020 Tops Finest John Means autograph. It is a refractor. So the John Means comes in at a mint nine as well. So the John Means comes in at a nine. He's got another Alec Manoa here. This one going to be from 2021 Bowman's Best. Best of 2021, another Alec Manoa rookie card autograph. This one comes in at a mint nine as well. So we can't find a gem for the Sheriff, which bums me out a little bit. Sheriff, I apologize, but you do get all nines and you do get some Alec Manoas slabbed up. So congrats on that one. All right, now we have Nick D. So let's see what we can get for Nick. Bring it home and... For Nick, we start off with an Austin Riley 2019 Topps Chrome Update rookie card. This one coming in at a Gem Mint 10. Nice one there for Nick. Nick, congrats on that one. Then we have a Ronald Acuna Jr. This one going to be a home field advantage from 2022 Topps. Nice Ronald Acuna Jr. case hit out of Topps. Comes in at a Mint Nine, so we get a mint nine on the home field advantage. Our next one gonna be an Andreas Jimenez 2021 Tops Chrome rookie autograph base. This one will come in at a gem mint 10. There we go, another gem mint 10 for Nick. Nice little Andreas Jimenez had a little bit of a breakout season in 2022. He'll look to build on that in 2023. That autograph has a lot of potential to raise in value. Then we have the iconic 20. 18 tops update Juan Soto rookie card. Juan Soto coming in at a gem mint 10. So a nice Juan Soto rookie gem for Nick. And our last card of this gigantic break. Thanks everyone for watching. If you haven't done so already, click subscribe. We do all sorts of these videos. We do breaks. We do everything on the channel. Would love to have you be a Patreon. Hit like, hit subscribe, do all the things you're supposed to do. Would much appreciate it. Our card that's going to bring us home, going to be a 2018 Topps Chrome Max Freed Pink Refractor Rookie Card. This one going to come in at a mint nine. So we get a few mint nines. Mint nines kind of dominated the day. We had a bunch of Shohei Gem Mint Tens. We had a couple maybe disappointing ones, a couple ones that were kind of nice. So overall, kind of at that value bulk submission level, you know, the um, when you're grading $15, $18 now that we're in 2023, I think they it bulked, they bumped it up to 19 But when you get in on some of those deals, um, this these are the type of cards you should be grading with them. You hope that you get a few 10s. I want to thank all the Patreons that submitted cards. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. When you're out there in the wild, I hope you're finding the cards that you want to find. And when you rip them, I hope that you pull fire. And as always, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors. And most importantly, take care of yourselves. Happy ripping. We'll do it again soon.